Hey guys, Tilly has taken a stab at doing an honest-to-goodness smartwatch review. At the end of today's video, I'll show you how you can check it out. Woohoo! Come on back. Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. We've got a box here that I'm going to open up for you. This is AV. That's right. It's after the virus. These uh, new watches that are coming out have been produced since the coronavirus ravaged China and is spreading throughout the world. And they're all coming with something new since uh, detection, early detection and identification of the potential virus is very important to folks. We're seeing body temperature as an addition onto these watches, along with all the other standard stuff. And that's what we've got in this one too. This is the Tikris GTS. It comes to us from Gearbest. Here's a little look at it, a very decent price. It's on flash sale now. Check the show notes for a link over there. Depending on when you're buying it, if the flash sale's over, I'll try to have a coupon for you to get it at that same price or sometimes better. Yeah, just check the show notes before you buy. And inside this thing, uh, it's totally waterproof, even has a swimming mode uh, on it. You've got a 1.3 inch screen, uh, Bluetooth 4.0, definitely IP68. Um, really lightweight good build quality it has um phone call reminder it says bluetooth calling but it's not where you can actually talk to your the other person from the watch you can just see the call coming in and know if you want to grab your phone or not in addition all the different health tracking stuff pedometers there uh, several different activities and message push notifications from your phone as well silicone band really lightweight um easy to use um band and lots of holes in it too uh, you're compatible with uh, ios and android with all these different languages and the big feature is the temperature capability so let's get inside the box take a look at it it's well packaged nice display right off the bat you lift it out like so you find that the silicone bands are removable and totally sealed, so it's definitely waterproof. Charging port uh, is right here. We'll show you the dock in a second. Heart rate diode in the middle, and these two little metal plates now are not ECG. We're used to seeing metal plates on there for that, but this is temperature. That's where you're gonna get your temperature taken, right from the watch. One button, very, very thin, uh, easy, lightweight wear. Inside the box itself now, we have a bag with a dock. Usually, as you know, I'm not a big fan of docks because they tend to be like funky when you put them in there and you, you got to get everything aligned just right. The magnetic wires are a lot easier. But in this case, I'm sold. This is a nice little dock. You open it up like a cosmetic case for those of you guys who know what that is. There's a cutout for the uh, knob. You put it right here. You snap it in. It snaps and locks. And now no matter where you put it, what position it's in, it's sealed, plug it in and charge it up and you're going to get a really good uh, charge for the thing. So it's got its own dock and its own little manual, which as we always do, we're going to page through to show you what these pages are all about. Get it in focus for you. Freeze frame it if you want to review it in more detail. Sometimes that's valuable. Here's the overall spec sheet directly from the box and a picture of the watch itself. It's got quite a few, four or five, I think, different watch faces on it. There's the QR code that you scan for the tethering app, which is something new. We haven't seen this app before, so we'll be taking a look at that as well. And um, here's how you find it, how you pair it. Oh, by the way, when you pair it, the watch doesn't appear properly here, um, at least right now. There'll probably be an update to the app. The tick wrist max is not there, but pick this right hand one that looks kind of close to it. And uh, when you get the QR code scanned properly, it should identify it as the tick wrist uh, max. Uh, I'm not, not max. Hello. I'm so used to that one. The tick wrist GTS is what we're looking at. 
All right, on this side, a little bit more. There's the QR code on the watch, which you scan with the app. That's how you tether it ultimately. But you got to select the watch from a picture first before you can scan the code. That's the tricky part. Link to um, the app is called Link to Sport. And these are the settings that you have on that screen. We'll actually go through these uh, in detail. So I won't spend a lot of time on it here in the overview of the manual so we can get moving. Here's what the screens look like. There's some of the different uh, watch faces available. And the temperature check is on the app drawer. And that's how it works. It's always in centigrade. We don't have it for Fahrenheit yet. We saw that with weather guys, you remember that? You never could get Fahrenheit for weather, and then finally they came out. Well, this is the second watch in a row we've done now with temperature in it, and of course, it's in centigrade. Just remember, 37 equals 98.6. So if you're 36 and a half, you're good. You're 37 and a half, you're getting a little high. And other than that, yeah, you'll see more. All right, let's uh, clear things out and take a look at it. All right, I've played with this a little bit for about a day, a couple of days. Let's take the cover off of it. And uh, yeah, I got some interesting stuff to report to you. Press and hold, it turns it on, and we're right into an initial watch face. Uh, it's uh, set at its highest brightness right now, and I just checked it again outdoors, and you can see the time easily. It's nice and bright. Uh, in the direct sunlight, it's a little dim, but nonetheless, it's definitely viewable. So I to the left, or to the right, bringing the left pane over, you get your step count, uh, distance traveled, and calories burned, and it times out on you. Ah, came back right there. When you swipe down, you get into heart rate. We'll come back and talk about that. Next one, you get your sleep time. Deep and light sleep is shown on here, and I did wear it last night. And then you get the QR code that you use to uh, link to the app called Link to Sports, and we'll show you that in a moment. And then it comes back. So three screens there, your basic time, back and forth from here, okay? When you're on the time, you go this way, and you get into all of your icons, uh, your, your uh, app drawer, back here comes here. This way, you get the settings, a... Uh, do not disturb mode, and your overall brightness. And there's the lowest brightness, which is good for nighttime, and five different ranges of brightness. It shows you your battery level, and if you're tethered to the app, it'll be linked like it's shown right there. And when you swipe up, if you have any messages that have been pushed to you from your phone, they will show up at that point, and we don't have any. So that's how it works, the different quadrants. Oops, I guess I pushed it to hard enough for it to want to power off, which we don't want to do. That should take us back. Well, there, finally. It's a little bit sluggish on um, the pushes. You have to you know, give it some good force to make it work. You have a variety of different... Uh, hello, come on, stay on a little longer for me. All right. Lit, uh, variety of watch faces. You have that nice bright one there. You have an analog face that looks like this, and it has basic data on it, on all of these. Then you have this one that actually keeps track of a bar chart of your uh, goal uh, in step count on a weekly basis. Date, time, and of course, the things down at the bottom like heart rate, calories burned, and your step count. And let's see. That one, that one, that one, and that's it. You've seen that one, so let's land on that one. And then you've got this nice big bright one. Minutes is usually what you're concerned about if you have the knowledge of what hour it is. So it's good and it's rare to find a watch face with big digits where the minutes are white and the color is on the hours. So if you're outdoors, the minutes will be viewable, even if dimly, if it's in bright sunlight, um, you can see it from right there. Okay, uh, removable bands, very soft, pliable, I mean, really super, super uh, lightweight overall, 
And now we're going to get into the good stuff. And to do that, I have to have it on because a lot of this stuff is the uh, biosensing things, including the temperature. Now we're going to talk about the temperature because that's kind of the main new feature of this one. But before I get to temperature, I'm going to put it on to let the temperature stabilize a little bit on my arm. I have the twist your wrist to see the time active right now as well. When I go over and down and I land on heart rate, it takes it a while before it gives you its first heartbeat uh, because it's, um, I guess, averaging them all out and not going to throw you some numbers that are just going to jump too wildly. So there we go. It vibrated and it's showing a heart rate. Now, what's really unique about this one, and I think one of the main um, main things about it is possibly a, a device you may want to get, is this will stay on. The watch will not turn off and it will not leave the heart rate screen. I've tested it for over an hour and that's cool. Yeah, I haven't seen that in others. I have wished that was there. I've really wished that on some of the watch faces that show the heart rate, that the heart rate would always be updating and would be nice and big and easy to see. Of course, this doesn't have the time, so you can't use it as an always-on watch, but you can use it as an always-on heart rate monitor. I've seen when I've gone up and down my stairs um, outside, I've seen the heart rate go up, and I stop for a little while, and I've seen it come back down, and it's really fun to monitor the change over time because this thing is live and active. So that's a really cool feature. As you can see, I keep rambling on, and it's still going. But, again, temperature is what this one's all about. So I'm going to bail out of this. Oh, notice that. There's another page to it. Heart rate data, high, min um, minimum, and your average is right there. How did I get into that? Just swiping. Okay, that's cool. Didn't know I could do that. Anything on this one? No. Back to the heart rate. And back over here to the app drawer. That's where we wanted to go. Step is going to take you to the same thing we've already seen for your step count. Sports now is something different. This is where you have your different sports. There's no GPS. It ties to um, the pedometer. But you have a, a regular outdoor walk, a standing walk, running, and a treadmill run, cycling, climbing. Swimming is in this one in history. So when I went to the grocery store with my mask on, I set it into walking and I walked 901 steps in 50 minutes. These are the kind of um, data that it uh, collects, the heart rate, the uh, miles, the actual distance traveled, calories burned, your frequency, 17 per minute, not sure what that is. And then I believe that's your pace down here. And then I don't know what that is. Confirm or delete. Oh, okay. Well, we're just going to leave it like it is. So you've got all of those things here. And you'll have different records for the different sports. And this one has swim. You can have mileage, believe it or not, time or calories as goals. And if you set no targets and you start a swim. Now, this is not as elaborate as the watch we reviewed earlier, which truly was for swimmers that has all kinds of gyroscopes and things in it to track your um, uh, your laps and your strokes and all of that. This is going to compute what the rooster's saying out there. This is going to give you calories versus time um, based on an average swim, apparently. Um, don't know how they're calculating that. Maybe it's taking your heart rate into consideration in the back. Not sure. There's not enough data for it to, to work, so it's not going to do anything. But all this is in the fitness area, so you get some limited data out of it. Notice the icons are really bloomed bright because I have the brightness set so high. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to take it up to a 3. <laughs> Can you guys tell it's springtime here? There, now the icons should be more visible. This is last night's sleep time, and I don't have anything more in this except those numbers. And then we get into health. Now here we are with heart rate. It takes you to the same thing you just saw a minute ago. I've got blood pressure. It does a one-time reading of this, and then it, uh, it bails out of this and goes dark. And when you restart it or touch the button, it'll come back to the uh, time screen. So it's not like 
heart rate that's going to be continuously on. And it does take a while to get the uh, blood pressure as well. I've noticed it tends to be low for me, uh, 107, 110. The second one, 70. Yeah, 120 over 80 is like normal for most folks. See, and then it, it doesn't, when you touch it again, it starts over again. So it doesn't keep it on very long. So I'm not sure about the accuracy. I'm not happy with how fast it times uh, goes off. And I'm not happy it doesn't keep the last reading for you to look at. Same thing for blood oxygen. This um, is tied in with green diodes. There's no red diodes on this watch. We all know if you've watched the channel, that red diodes are better overall for blood oxygen, but they can do an estimation for it from green diodes, and it does take it a little while to get it. Okay, I cut some of the footage out there because it was taking a really long time, maybe because I opened it up and messed around with it and that reset it all. Again, you saw it was at 99%. It timed out. I had to press the button and it starts all over again from the beginning to give me another uh, blood oxygen reading. So poor implementation on these two, excellent implementation for heart rate, but we still haven't gotten the temperature. That's the main thing they're hyping about this watch and it's way buried down here. That's the first screen. Here's the second screen, messages pushed from your phone, alarms that you can set. It's got a music player that you can remotely play the music that's on your phone. It won't come out of a speaker because there is none. The silly QR code we saw on the other screen uh, is right here that you use for tethering. And the third screen, finally, way down here, has temperature. After you get past the fact that it's got a countdown timer that you can set, a count up stopwatch that will run, you can take lap time, you can pause it, you can start it. However, if you press the button, you get out of it and it won't run in the background. And then settings, which we saw was a button up at the top we can get into here, which I will after I finally show you the temperature. It's telling you that you should wear this whole thing for an hour before you take the temperature not something you're going to slap on and take a quick uh, temperature or like the infrared ones you just point to your forehead. This one, apparently the plates in the back have to stabilize or something so that it can uh, give you an actual uh, reading from there. And it's only in centigrade, 35.5. And remember, 37 is equivalent to 98.6 for those of us that live in the Fahrenheit world. So 35... Uh, and then it bails out completely here. 35.5 is relatively low uh, temperature wise, but again, it's skin temperature and not internal body temperature. So convert that, you'll see what it is. Um, I'm not sure about the accuracy of it. And I'm not sure, of course, if it's gonna change if I were to have a temperature, but it does give you a temperature reading. Now this time it came back and lets me start it right up again. And there's no diode going off. It's just using those two metal sensors that you see there to come up with the temperature. Then you've got settings. And in here, you've got the overall brightness with a different display where you, you see all five levels, uh, which is similar to the circle one at the top. Again, the QR code. They really want you to tether this silly thing to the app. It shows up everywhere remote camera, which uh, will activate this as a button that you can press to take pictures from your uh, phone, find your phone, reset everything, and then finally about the watch, which tells you the model, Tikris, GTS, and so forth. And that's the settings. And we are back to the very first page. One, two, three pages of apps. The overall time you've seen all of the uh, pages or, or different uh, screens that you can have. All of these things are in here. And now we're ready to talk about the app. We'll spend a little bit of time on this one because we've never seen it before. It's called Link to Sport in Google Play. You can download it and um, we're going to take a look at it, open it up. And I've already on a page where the body temperature is being uh, displayed on here. Now, one really cool thing, I'm jumping right into this and we'll back out to look at the whole thing. You can set a temperature alarm in here. You go in here 
and it will alarm you on a high temperature. It appears that it takes an automatic reading every 10 minutes, and if that reading exceeds your high temperature alarm rate, which is settable from 37.3 all the way up to whatever you like, 41.3. So let's say you got a little temperature of 101, I'm guessing. Let's say that's the same as 38.1. And you are already got that little temperature, but you want to know, is it going up? You know, is, is, So you, you crank this up a little bit, a few more digits, and you set the level that you want. And now when your 101 degree temperature hits 102.5, the alarm would go off. That kind of thing. Converted to English for those of you that are probably my primary audience. Same thing applying about, you know, setting the centigrade levels. Never ever seen that before. It's rare to find a device that actually reads real body temperature. We have some that give you the weather temperature outside, but this not only gives you body temperature, but allows for setting alarms. And that is really cool. Down here, here are, uh, are my uh, measurements and it appears that what it's doing is a body surface measurement, the blue one, that's the actual reading. And then it's, I believe, presuming what your internal actual temperature is through some algorithm uh, from that. So 32.0, there's a 33.0 um, here, 32.0. Those are my skin temperature readings. And then the green ones are the uh, the interpretations from that. Oh, must have just, just done another one. Yep, it's 11 o'clock, just took another temperature, just vibrated. A lot of things going on right here. So this is the panel that you, you see for body temperature, and it happens in the data over here. I can refresh, but it actually transmitted that last one live. So it's doing background synchronization. Here's my step count per hour. That's where I went to get to body temperature. This is where I go to get to blood pressure. And it's showing the individual points on the chart when you actually take the blood pressure. It's not doing it on a regular basis, uh, but it does give you that. There's the walking that I just did, and I showed you on the uh, watch what it looks like. Here it is actually on the uh, phone. I've got the total information. There's the breakdown of everything we saw on the watch. And here's my heart rate over time. So that's pretty cool. And it shows you my high and my low. The high is erroneous because I am probably was vibrating. So unfortunately, that's it. But then it peaked up a little bit, peaked up more. These are times I was walking to and from the car probably. Um, anyway, it, it's nice that you have your overall heart rate. You don't get the... Uh, little line that shows you at any incremental point, or do you? Thought I saw something. Yeah, I do. Man, looks like you have to actually touch it on the spot. Well, I see it flashing a couple of times. Anyway, you're getting heart rate information and all your other stuff on um, your workouts that you put in here. But of course, distance is not computed with the uh, GPS and you don't have a GPS track. But if temperature and real time always on heart rate are things that you want, this is nice to have some fitness data. And my thumb is over my location information, which is showing uh, you have your sporting stuff here, your heart rate chart here. This is different than the heart rate now that we just showed you in the workout. This is my actual real time heart rate going on uh, all the time. And then you've got the sleep information from last night where we just had a summary from before. Now we've got the actual breakdown that's showing you light, deep, and awake, but no rim sleep on this one. And a, an assessment of the quality of your sleep is on there too. So you got those three different sections on here. This one is the overall watch information and where you set things. Do not disturb mode you can put on so it doesn't interrupt you for notifications. However, it does not suppress the turn your wrist to see the time. So if you're going to wear it to bed, you have to come into the app, turn that off. Otherwise, every time you roll over, your watch is going to light up. 
I wish that were incor incorporated in the do not disturb mode. It would be much better. Heart rate continuous monitoring, you have that choice there as well. And then there's you. And this is where you can, uh, when you first get into the app, you can create an account uh, or you can go in anonymous, but you'll still be able to put in yourself. The thing is that if you delete this app, your data is not in the cloud. You don't log in with your name and password. But if you want to use it casual and you don't want your connection going to China, this app allows that. So it's a lot more autonomy on here. You can set your units, although it doesn't affect the temperature, but you can go Imperial for your data entry. You can um, feedback and settings for here, just about basic stuff. Uh, so overall, the app itself is reasonable, not terrific, but the best feature is the body temperature and the ability to set a body temperature alarm and the ability of this watch to display real-time continuous heart rate. You just go to the icon. You don't have to activate it. It'll start on its own and it'll stay on. All right. So you can pick up this little puppy from GearBest. GearBest is bringing it to us. It's on a flash sale right now. Uh, that's a really good price. I might have a coupon discount for you probably when the flash sale ends, the coupon would kick in. But uh, yeah, that's a decent price for something like this. The Tickris GTS with its real time always on heart rate. Love this thing. And of course, with the temperature built into it as well. There you go. You've been watching Smart Watch Ticks, and we appreciate your subscription and your thumbs up, and we will be back soon. As promised, here's Tilly. She runs 100% gross on YouTube. So just go to YouTube in your search bar, search for 100% gross, pull up the very first video, and voila. Hey, what's up? Ho, ho, ho! Sick, girl, sick! Let's get some more from you like that. Thank you.